If you have a GIF that you need to crop or edit in any other way, you can use the free easygif.com website. I had seven GIFs that needed editing and I was able to edit them in few seconds each. When you get to the site, at the top you have a list of editing options from resizing, cropping, cutting, optimizing, adding effects, to splitting and adding text to your GIFs. I need to crop the visible area in my GIF, so I will select Crop. Then you need to locate your file. When I preview my first GIF, you can see that I have this large unnecessary empty desktop area in my GIF that I need to cut out. I will select the file and upload it. Since I selected to crop my GIF at the beginning, that is what appears overlaying it, an area to adjust in size to what I want to crop. I will select only the website window area, then scroll down. Here you have some predefined cropping options with different aspect ratios, as well as you can provide exact measurements. Once you're ready, click Crop Image button. Now, below, a cropped GIF appears, and what a great job it did. The quality is the same, just the visible area is smaller, exactly what I needed. Right below that, I have a list of all other editing tools that I can use further on my image. I can still reverse it, optimize, resize it, etc. But for this image, I'm done with my edits, so I'm going to select to save it. Now I can compare my original GIF to the cropped one. You can see that the quality is the same, just the area changed, which is perfect. Let's do another one, but this time I'm going to apply two edits to my GIF. I will select a new GIF and upload it. First I will crop it as it has the same issue as my first one. There is a large unneeded empty desktop area visible that I need to cut out. I will crop my GIF and now instead of saving it, I will add another edit. So the last frame in my GIF is a bit too fast and I want to slow it down. So I will select the frames option under the image. I can reorder my frames, add more or less time to each, etc. For me, I want to add more time to the less frame so instead of 27 100 of a second, I will change it to 100 over 100, which is one second. Then I will make a GIF. I can preview my edited GIF before I save it. Once it is saved, I can quickly compare it and you can see that not only it is cropped, but slower at the end, which is more useful. Thanks so much for watching. 